Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a three-way light switch. This is uh, common in floor lamps. Uh, this one, here's what it does. Well, that's a frozen completely. Alright. Well, the switch is very difficult to turn, and if it does turn, it doesn't uh, turn more than once. So a three-way bulb is useless. We've been turning this off and on for about well, a couple weeks now just by unscrewing the light bulb. So I went to the store and bought a new three-way switch. Those cost about five dollars and I'm going to show you how to replace those. First step you want to do is unplug it and then take out the light bulb. So let me go unplug it. Unplugged, take out the three-way light bulb and here's what we're going to install. It's a new three-way socket. They sell single switch sockets too you need to make sure it says three-way because it's wired differently. It's got three separate contacts in there. So what we have to do is replace this old broken one with this new one. The little switch here simply unscrews. Unthread that. This sleeve comes up. This is just crimped down. So we'll just work it up and this metal sleeve will come up. Set that to the side. Okay, I opened up the three-way socket. I wanted to show you what you got. You get a new switch, which is always nice, and you get the new three-way socket like this. You pull the bottom piece off. That has threads that will thread on the top of the lamp. It has that metal cover sleeve that will push off by pushing through with your finger. And inside you just have the outlet and a couple of contact screws that we'll attach the wires to. So I wanted to show you this before we pulled apart the other one. So we'll put this back together. Slide that on just to keep it all together. This just crimps on and this part again screws on to the base of the lamp and it's got a little set screw right there to make sure nothing slides out of place at the end. Okay back to disassembling the uh, lamp. We're going to take this whole thing and lift it up a little bit Pull this out, gives a little slack, and start to unscrew the base of this. Went on and got my wire clippers. This is the old broken switch, just at the top. I'm going to snip one and two. This is trash, throw it away. Now I need to free up some bare wire on the tip of these to use them for the next one. So we'll get my wire stripper. Okay, I've got my wire stripper. This is an uh, inexpensive one, three or four bucks. Just set the gauge here. Um, looks like I'm going to use about a 14 gauge. Crimp it on the outside. First I'm going to start out with a 10 gauge, I think. Crimp it, turn a little bit. Crimp it more and then try to pull it off. Okay. Not quite clean that time, so I'm going to go down to like a 12 gauge. Twist it around, pull. Okay, there's my wire. Okay, now we're ready to start installing a new one after we pull this thing off. That's discardable too. Okay, I've got the old piece off completely, so I've got the new set in my hand. And what I've done for ease is I've twisted the wires together because I have to thread it through this one, and otherwise uh, it may be difficult. So I'll just put that down. Push this all the way to the bottom, and it should thread onto the standard sized nut below. And there it goes. I may have to loosen this little set screw there, so I'll go ahead and do that. Loosen that a little bit. There we go. I'm just threading that in all the way until I can't anymore. And I'm going to set that set screw a couple of turns. And that's on there pretty good. I'm going to twist this because these modern lamps are all just twist together. And if they get loose, they get all wobbly. Almost done. With a new piece, I'm going to pull that collar out again. And the threads are going to go on the top. 
The crimps are going to go on the bottom. Let me twist it a little bit more. We basically have two screws here, one here and one here, that we're going to need to tighten these two. So I'll go ahead and do that. If it gets too slow, I'll do this fast forward and let you enjoy some banjo music. So here we go. Okay, so that's back on there, but we have all this extra wire. So what we want to do is go down to the base where you have the wire coming out of the base of the lamp and pull that. And that'll snug this up at the top. There it goes. And I'm also going to put on this insulating sleeve over the top. Almost done. Turn this to the side so you can see. Threading on your new switch. Let's see if it clicks three times. Remember the last one wasn't clicking. There's one. Oh, I love it. Sounds good. So the moment of truth or the agony of defeat here, I'm going to go put in a light bulb and then plug it in. So here's the light bulb. This is a three-way again. Back it up. Plugging it in. Get ready. Okay, there's one, two, three. So really, if uh, you've never done this, it's about 10 minutes of work and you can replace a faulty switch for about $5. And our light is brand new. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.